Sensation. Hey, 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 how y'all doing on this morning? It's your leading lady, Khadija, and you know I got some good stuff for you guys. And ladies and gents, kings, queens, lions, lionesses, let's all just roll for it one time, all right? High school session is in, okay? Uh, one time. <laughs> anyway, I'm super excited to be here with you this morning. I cannot even deny it. Check out my poetry page, y'all. Let me tell you something. Some people been downloading my poetry. If you are a poet, why are you? So hopefully um, we all can talk, chat with me. Facebook, chat on Facebook. I'll be able to see what you're writing or whatever. Let's talk. So anyway, grab, grab you a hot cup of tea. Grab you something that's going to be... So I'm going to help you soothe. If you need cookies, cakes, ice creams, all those things, I don't think some of my plant-based listeners will like that. But do what you do to make yourself feel good, okay? Because I ain't going to lie. Mm. If you need you some tonic water, spring water, distilled water, do what you got to do until I come back and we get straight into this thing. <laughs> Here in Charleston, you know the name Desisori. It ain't like it's a name that's... You come by every day, so check him out. Support. He's mixed with so many great people. Thank you, thank you, thank you for creating that song. Thank you for letting us use it for our show. I'm ecstatic. So anyway, moving forward. Y'all know me. If you want to hear some poetry, just go to my spreecrade.com account. I got it all posted on Facebook. I'm not going to do no poetry this morning. But I am going to talk about some hot topics that I personally think are not hot topics but there are topics and also y'all gotta pay attention to government as well because look there's some things going on that i've seen recently i don't watch the news like that um i should being that i'm into publication and radio and broadcast and all that great stuff but oh my goodness <laughs> i'm just gonna say omg y'all gotta really see what's going on in society today i mean how do y'all think that uh, how do y'all feel about some of the legis legislations that have passed, some of the laws that have passed so far within this past weekend? I mean, that's something to talk about all by ourselves. We can talk for hours about it. But I wanted to just go ahead and refresh on some of the things. This past weekend was a great, great online buy for those kids going back to school. So I think that's always a good plus and measure. Um, they still have great deals online. So speaking about online, on Friday, I hope everybody goes to Tuxedos and Crowns. And I hope y'all purchase y'all wedding lingerie for someone you know that's getting married, a parent, mother, gift, sister, brother. Someone's always getting married. We have information that you can tap into. Just continue to follow me on Facebook this week. We also have great discounts. If you are part of the Lookbook team, or you want to be a part of the Lookbook team, email me skrmagazine at gmail.com. It's not hard. skrmagazine at gmail.com. I'll send you a lookbook. And these are the items. I want to know what you think. Do you like these? You don't like these? So I'll know what to present. And I feel as though that's a great thing to be a part of because most people don't always give you a lookbook choice or option. They don't always give you uh, something beforehand to look at and say, hey, do you like it? You don't like it. You know what I mean? So if you want to be a part of it, go ahead. And please do keep in mind um, it's a celebration. So most definitely keep in tune with what we're going to be doing with that. Like, I was on Facebook this week, and I have videos that I have saved. So those that follow me consistently, go look in my Facebook page, and I have saved videos. And you can see all the corny, quirky things that I've seen, topics we talked about in previous radio shows, podcasts, however you want to say it, and most definitely comment on it, because I don't want you to miss anything. I don't want you to miss one episode, not one, not none at all. I want you to be able to be a part of everything. Um... Also, Loving Me Sundays is doing really good. Um, not where I really want it to be, but we're going to keep pushing forth. And thank you for all the support. Um, I'm not going to say, hey, we're doing super duper excellent if I know I want more participation. So I guess I have to present Loving Me Sundays a little bit more to everybody. Because it's basically about how you, you can just take life situations, not commit suicide on yourself, but how you can become a better person. We all have challenges. We all face things. The difference between me and loving me Sundays and you is, and anybody else, don't fake a situation. You can't get through something if you're faking it. So you most definitely got to be real with who you are and where you're at. 
you can't begin to judge somebody else or present something that you're not. I agree with dress like you want to go where you're going. I agree with you speaking what you want to speak. But at some point in time, you just got to cut the games and say, hey, this is where I'm at. I need help. Let me move forward. You know what I mean? So, yeah, that that's one of the things that Love of Me Sundays is all about. That's anything I do is all about that. Um, like I said, I think I'm more than qualified to talk about it. I think I'm more than qualified because um, my life started at a very early age, at the age of 17. So, I mean, I got married when I was 21. Um, been married for over 13 years before we decided to have a divorce. So, I mean, it's life changes between military life, kids, family, it's so much you can learn, and I'm just thankful for it. And I don't want no one to waste their time with those that are not um, on the same page as you. And I'm always like this, keep it moving. If they don't accept you in the now, don't accept them in the future. You know what I mean? They can't accept you. And sometimes it's kind of good for people to move on so you can get yourself together. You know, maybe y'all meet up another time when you're both in a better mental state, so... But I was on Facebook this morning, and uh, one of my good queens I like to uh, associate with, her name is um, Octavius, and um, Octavia, Octavius, um, I always call her soul sister. Um, she put up a quote this morning that had me, like, bugging. So check it out. It's on the Facebook page. It's about guys and how guys always want females to be a certain way, but then they don't check themselves. Um, and it was like... Throwing, her, throwing your pH balance off. I thought it was like one of the most coolest, quirkiest things ever because a lot of times we don't look at it. Being a health, public health major and in the military, I was in public health and sciences or whatever. I was an inspector for agriculture and food. And so we had to study all those things because um, anatomy goes with food and blah, blah, blah. So um, when I saw the post, I was like, it is true. A lot of times I hear guys may say, oh, you know, she didn't smell the best down there or she... Blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, okay, wait a minute. We have a monthly cycle where we clean ourselves out every month. Y'all don't have no cycle to clean y'all out for nothing. Y'all don't have anything that y'all don't go for, <laughs> like we go for six months or monthly or we go to the OBGYN. Y'all don't. And you think sometimes that what you put in your body, it doesn't affect our body? Come on. Please, really? Really? Exactly. So that was a good point. Um, I'm not stressing on the one, but I'm most definitely flexing the point that, man, take into consideration that what you put in your body, it does affect us as well. And I'm not the one to co-sign on anybody what you do for your love life or whatever. But even though, keep in mind for men and women, the more people you swap and mix with, it does cause a little problem. So your older females are not just from you being nasty. It's from the things you put in your body and your sex partners. Simple. Oh, what Bible scripture I'm going to add to that? Uh, yeah, none. <laughs> it's, it's basically one-on-one. You know, go to science class, go to anatomy class, uh, pray about it so the Holy Spirit can tell you, but uh, we ain't going to be deep. We're going to call this real life. We're going to keep it straight 400 on this show. You know what I mean? So anyway, I thought it was a great, great point to bring up. Um, I'm not quite blunt <laughs> as she was with it. I used to be, but not at this moment. But yeah, so next time you meet someone, don't be embarrassed to say, hey, <laughs> you have a doctor's <laughs> note. I mean, seriously, how many of y'all would say before you go on a date, you would ask someone, what's their health status? Or would you wait six months in and say, hey, let's go to the doctor to get together and get checked out? I mean, I'll wait. I mean, I'll wait. I'll wait. Hmm. So I'm looking at some of the responses I'm getting here and some of the responses are kind of like kind of mediocre. I think personally, one person from Tennessee says that they would never ask a person for medical information. They think that's too much. They think that that will cause a damper in the relationship then I will not be in a relationship. I will just go out need to do that. You, if you have topics, if you have more information to share with us, we're always here. Um, we want to make sure that we can provide the best information possible. Um, also, the question that I ask, if someone is still living that lifestyle of being a player, how would you take it versus them no longer being a player, they stop being a player, and they want to be in a relationship? 
that's a good question to think about. That's a great topic. Hit me up on Facebook. It doesn't matter when it is. I won't talk about it on this show, but I'll talk about it on the next insert show that we come into. And I just want to know where y'all minds at, you know, where your heart is at. Um, going further, this Sunday was a great Sunday for me in church. I'm telling you, I really love my church, HHIM in Moss Corner, South Carolina. Bishop Jerome Taylor, Pastor Tanya Aiken Taylor. Um, I got, to, and I have a lot of, a lot of information I've learned over the years. Um, and not only that, I've, I've visited other places that are great as well. But my home church is just where it's at. And I had to learn how to um, take my wall down. I had a big wall from all the different experiences that I've had. So having a wall sometimes can affect your spiritual relationship. And, you know, it, it, you can miss out on things. You don't want to wait to the end of a thing and say, oh, let me get on board. Let me be a part of it. You know what I mean? So um, I'm talking, but I'm talking about emotionally me opening up to the point of having someone to be my spiritual mom or dad. That's what I mean. So that's why I say be careful who you invite into your life. Be careful who you sit down and break bread with because it can alter your whole entire existence. And you don't want to be in your 30s or 40s or 50s trying to catapult yourself back to where you were supposed to be 20-something years ago. Yeah, won't he do it? Yeah, God will. God will most definitely resurface that. But let's avoid that story to be written if we don't have to write it. You know what I mean? So um, with that being said, this Sunday service was a great service for me because... We're going over the Ten Commandments. And yeah, yeah, that's what we do. Going over the Ten Commandments. And I have a different look on the Ten Commandments. Okay, so if someone says, I don't want to talk about the Ten Commandments, but you want to talk about the Constitution. Mm. Okay, I'm not about anything that has a double edge, uh, two face, two fold, um, size, you know, double edge short. Now, that's different in the word. That's different. But I'm talking about, I'm not about to follow something that has double meaning. You know what I mean? So, you know, the different laws and, and things like that, it works on one hand, but then on the other hand, it doesn't work for me. It works for me for freedom of speech, and it doesn't work for me. I can bear arms and I can't. Okay, listen, that's too much. I just need it straightforward. So I love the new concept of the Ten Commandments. And to be honest with you, the Ten Commandments are straight. Just keeping it 100. It's like, boom, this is what it is, and boom. And there's no counterfeit, no different way about it. And it hasn't changed in years so hands up to that. Um, but he said something that was very profound, very, very, very prolific. And we look at it as the small things. And I look at it like those big things to get you to where you want to get to. And loyalty is one of those big things he's talking about. Um, I, I think it's a, a new teaching for me. Um, and about not, not not walking in loyalty and not walking in those areas of jealousy. So it's been a life changing thing for me. Not saying that I don't or have never seen the Ten Commandments. I'm just saying it's different to me. And I will say I've had a point in life when I've been jealous. If you can't admit it, that's you. I've been jealous when I see people doing successful things. I'm like, okay, what about me? I'm like, where am I? At? Where am I at? You know, and I had to come to a point. Not now. This was years ago. Um, years ago. This is not now. But anyway, years ago. I was like, okay, you know what, 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 what's up? What about me? Where I'm at? Who? So then I finally realized one day I woke up some years ago, I was in the military and I said, you know what? I'm not going to waste another day worrying about somebody else creating something in my mind that doesn't really exist. I'm happy for you. Keep it moving. Let me focus on what I need to do. Then I start having children. Um, the first child when I was 21. So yeah, like I tell y'all, this has been years ago. Don't try to figure out my age. So years ago, um, but when I really stop focusing on other people and start focusing on myself, my life began to change so much. Um, I got married at 21 and just going forth, um, some of that jealousy I bought into my marriage. So it was kind of hard in the very beginning to kind of like love me because I was fighting against both of us. You know, it was like, OK, ah, where? you know, <laughs> you know, marry somebody and that person don't know who they are can be a big problem. So hopefully, um, hopefully. I'm able to help someone in the process. And like I would say, um, when I always say on Love With Me Sundays, in order for you to grow, you need to understand where you're coming from, understand the concept of a thing. If you don't understand the concept of a thing, how can you ever make an adjustment? And that's one of the things that kind of gives me in, in life. People always want to show those sides that look good, but then when you begin to pull that stuff off from the surface, the roots are all dead. 
And you don't want to have a dead root system going on because a dead root system does nothing but shine good on the outside. It looks beautiful. It looks, and that's what people mean. The grass may seem green on the other side. It may seem greener because a certain part of that contour of dirt got that structure that it needed. But up under that third layer of dirt and soil, if anyone knows about construction, that third up under that third layer, it's just dead. It's not connecting to anything, and that's just the horrible thing about it. A lot of people walk around with that greener on the grass type syndrome. And all you see is that surface. But when they take off everything, the clothes, the makeup, uh, they don't have makeup, the fake smiling, the hats, the clothes, the chains, the jewelry, the cars. Who are you? Who are you? Do you even know who you are? Are you... Are you accepting who you are? Or are you putting on for somebody else? Me, in general, when I do something, now I do it because I want to, not because I have to. I don't even need an enhancer. Enhance what? I am what God made me, point blank in the period. But if I do something, it's because I choose to do so, not because I'm trying to impress anybody. Impressing somebody is not impressing the heart's purpose. That's not what you are designed for. That's not what you're here for. You're here to show who you are at your state. Present your purpose to help save somebody else along the way. I firmly believe that. I think we are so focused on so many other things that we forget what we're here for. What if we're here to build a, what if we're here to build this earth for us to live eternally or something? You don't know. Just throwing the question out there. I don't know. Something to think about something more than just the norm. But anyway, I want to wrap this up. I'm going to talk about stock market real quick. You know that Nike stock has gone down two dollars and some change. Come on now. Uh, we most definitely want to make sure we keep that Nike stock up. If you're into stock market money and stuff like that, most definitely. Um, I'm learning a little bit more about it. I'm not like deep into it. Um, so I had someone on Facebook. I'm like, hey, how do you do that right there? And they hit me back and I was like, okay, I'm, I'm going to have to check this out <laughs> or whatever. But um, if you go to stock market, it's a great thing to get into if you know um, how to get more education about it or whatever. Um, someone made a comment on Facebook and it's like, Hey, I remember spending seventy three dollars and four cent and Nike stock didn't buy a pair of Jordans. I was like, What? That's so genius. <laughs> Get paid for days, you know? <laughs> or whatever. So y'all most definitely um check it out. And I can like to give a big shout out to my um people that are doing their own business. It's a product, you guys. I love to pieces. It's called a better A B E D A and I use it for everything. A beta is my go-to product um, for my hair, skin, nails, whatever I want to use it for. Um, she's out of Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. What's well, a small town beside Myrtle Beach? But I say Myrtle Beach because everyone knows Myrtle Beach. Uh, please look up A B E D A online to find her product and follow my Facebook page on Naturals by Khadija. You can find out more great products, more um, people I've met, more vendors. So if you see things that I'm wearing and you like it, just hit me up on Facebook, on Natural Spike Adesia or whatever. Um, my social media is at. And I don't mind telling you, like, I have this quick look book. I do quick look books. I don't take all day and explain a million one things on how to achieve looks that I have. And the good thing is I'm going to be able to provide some of those looks for you guys. Just give me a few weeks or whatever till I get everything like I need to. After I get tuxedos and crowns launched like I want it. Then we'll start bringing the quick look book styles where you can purchase those items or whatever. Um, so also big ups to Rapunzel's um, hair extensions. We are now a uh, brand ambassador for them. So whoop, whoop, if you need bundles and nice hair, I'm not talking about something that's, you know, average, nice hair. Or if you ever seen something I have on a wig or hair or whatever, just hit me up and let me know. Um, great stuff. Um, how to get it. Um, I have great discounts on it. You can use my discount. I don't care. Um, to get whatever you want products, you know, especially for um, the occasion with um, Tuxedos and Crowns, which is a wedding lingerie company. Um, you also get to get nice hair and nice slippers and nice little wedding lingerie. Um, so we're excited about that. But um, what I want to say about um, the stock um, and finances, if y'all are trying to get in contact with someone to do a little something on the side, I know Legal Shield's been out for a minute. I know someone named Damien that can help you out. Most definitely, he is the guy to go to if you want to get signed up and find out more about it. I personally use Legal Shield I have for the last two or three years. Um, 
that's a great side company to invest in. Also, Erica Moore has a great business on repairing your credit. So if you want to be a part of that, please do. I just haven't had a chance to get everyone a response yet because I may know someone that's interested. doesn't mean that I may want to sincerely be a part of it at the time because I have so many other things that's going on. Um, those two people I want to send out information about today. So you can check out the information and, um, and most definitely be a blessed, you know, be blessed by it. You don't want to um, miss the opportunity. Um, also, check out some pop-up boutiques that I'm going to be posting on Facebook. So if you're looking for some great boutique items, we have the keys for you. Here again, my name is Khadijah here in the low country known as Miss Keys. Keys by Khadijah. Check me out. I'm going to sign off for the day. And until next time, y'all, keep yourself motivated. Keep yourself positive, And we are most definitely. Shout out to your birthday.